My name's Rebecca Desotel. Last name D-E-S-H-O-T-E-L. Isn't that ironic? It means the hotel. And here I get into the food business. <laughs> Go figure, right? <laughs> We focus on quality and service. We don't focus on price. I think other caterers probably might go with a little cheaper food product, thinking it's gonna be the same quality. You know, I could say, oh, we have better linen, and we have better setups, and we have better everything, but when we just focus on that quality and, and the service that we provide to our clients, they know what they're getting. I think that's what sets us apart from any other caterer out there. We have a 32-page menu. It's all-American food. What do we know that people like? Our major items are Italian, Mexican, barbecue. Most of our clients can pick a package or they can do a la carte and pick and choose what they want. This steamer, between rice, um, noodles, veggies, stuff that actually needs to be steamed and not baked or fried. If we're without that steamer, we struggle. Some of our products are finished off in the steamer. We might par-cook chicken, and then we finish it off in the steamer, which um, keeps the moisture within that. It's a little bit different serving at a restaurant versus something you gotta put in a hot box and let it travel for two hours before somebody consumes it. You wanna make sure that they're getting a good product. It's a difficult to get into the door sometimes. I think the things that work the best are, are when we just drop in and we talk to people. They're, if they're gonna do catering, they're bound to remember you. If they've got the information in front of them, we might be able to get in with a corporation and offer to go in and do a tasting of a variety of different items that are popular on our menu. the difficulties in managing an off-site catering company. It just throws in a whole bunch of different factors. We gotta think about traffic, we gotta think about weather, we gotta think about to be able to manage all the costs that, that it takes to actually run a catering, a successful catering company. The upkeep, upkeep and transportation of equipment. So many crazy things happen in catering and in the food industry. People know this if you've ever worked in a restaurant or a hotel. It can get crazy. Whether you're managing somebody or whether you're serving somebody. Number one rule, stay calm. Remain professional. It's very important. I have a passion for food. I have a passion for people. I'm passionate about my job. When I do things, I do them to the best of my ability. No, not every day is not going to be perfect. I run into issues every day. Only certain people can do it successfully. I get, I'm pleased when um, we make our clients happy. If we can accomplish the impossible, <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs>